and you have a track record. You just mentioned the number of players that you coached who, who you knew were going to be great and went on to be great. Is there something that a college could do to offer you to say, we want Coach Sue. We've seen what you've done. This is a different landscape with Penn IL. Would you come to our school, turn our program around? Is there a part of you that wants to walk out of a tunnel with 60,000, 100,000? Do you want to do that? Could you do that? Would you want to do that? That's a great question. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great question. Let me tell you why it's great. For many years, Deion Sanders has been my best friend, right? So we coach, but Deion coached in Texas. I coached in California. So we always say Texas got the best football. Nick, California got the best football. Well, hold on. We need to figure this out. So for a couple of years, Deion used to come. I would play against a team in Florida, and Deion would play against a team in Florida. We would play at one. He would play at three. For some reason, we would always play before him because he was scouting. I didn't know that. So I'm just thinking it's my friend. He's scouting. He's scouting. Year three. Hey, Snoop, what's up, Ron? I want that. What you want? I want that action. You for real? Yeah, I want it in Texas. Because the Super Bowl is in, I think it's in Houston. And he's about to get into the Hall of Fame. So he want to play against my team because this is his Last high school game, I mean, last little league game with these kids before they go to high school. So he's got his all-star team. I got dogs. So we have a get down the day before, meet and greet, team meet and greet. So we're at the bowling alley. So prime time, say, hey, man, let me tell you, Snoop Dogg, when I play against people, I blow them out. I don't even care if it's my mama I'm playing against. First play of the game, I'm going onside kick. Get it, 7-0. Onside kick again. Seven. I'm, I'm going... For the blowout. I'm like, okay. I'm trying to be nice and respectful. This is prime time. We get to the game. Huddle my team up. Tell them first play. Go onside. <laughs> we went onside kick. We got the ball. <laughs> we scored seven. Second play onside kick. We get the ball. <laughs> we scored. I took his method. Punched him with it. We beat him like 57 to 14. And at the end of the game, I had to take the mic and go on the NFL network and say, Deion Sanders, you are into the Hall of Fame. <laughs> <laughs> so that is me and Deion's relationship. And as coaches, we've clashed, right? But I don't think I can handle the pressure of what he's dealing with mm. up there because remember, I like to do this yeah. all the time. So unless it's a smoke-friendly school, <laughs> that shit ain't happening. And I'm only good as a head coach who can find better coaches to put on my staff. Mm. I'm not a greedy guy that's like, I got to run the offense, the defense, and the special teams. No. Who's the best guy calling the plays right now that could blow out anybody on this level? Who calls plays that move the kids around and do all this? I need him. Who's the defensive guy that can stop all of that that's going to bring all these guys up front and then have great guys back there? I want the best coaches and then the best recruiters. Who's going to be able to go get those kids from down south to mix them with California and put them together? It has to be that. Like, that's a lot to put on your shoulders to say, I want to run out the tunnel with these kids. You got to have all of that together before you can run out the tunnel with those kids. And Prime has been priming himself for this for a long time. And remember this, his babies is on that team. Yeah. When my babies was on the team, I coached every level I could coach. So if they would have went to the next level and they'd asked me to come, I would have ran right with them because I'm better for my babies because I see what you can't see as a coach, but I will bring in a coach to coach them, but I'm going to help my babies in areas that you can't because I see what you can't see in me. So I'll have to say, no, I won't take a job <laughs> in the NCAA. So y'all coaches don't have to worry about Snoop Dogg coming to get y'all. Y'all cool. Cause all y'all kids going to come play for me anyway. Cause my NIL deals going to be way better than y'all's. <laughs> And uh, it is what it is, so y'all can breathe easy. Don't worry about it. I'm not coming to get you. 